sinewy black woman was artfully pummeled, shoved, and tossed about by four insanely delectable white men without, it was noted by everyone present, relinquishing the least bit of control. It was a perfect textbook illustration of rule number one in the colored girl handbook. Make their submission look like your submission. Inhabit their rage. Ladies and gentlemen, strap in and strap on and witness Deva's revenge.
your belly gets to crawl on your belly so you can breathe. And guess what? She's going to give you your own room in her new house. The floor will be made of what you have done to her. It's a melding of downtown and long gone. It's wind snaking its way down the throat. It's the born misery as her boys choke up murderous sparks. Turn up the dial, siphon the wet from the air. Glow. If it is not getting hot, 
if you have not clutched the possibility of your own ashes, then Deva has not done her job. Have you ever had a hundred and three degree temperature and felt the limits of your own core? That's what she's talking about. That's what she's talking about. That is what she is talking about. I bet you're thinking, here's this woman dancing to a poem or a piece of a poem that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Well, I will be mentioning fire again in a moment in a totally different context. But that's a stretch, so let's call this the orchestral overture, the preheat oven to 450, the blow hot air to the tube until it pops. You came to see what lies beneath what she's showing you, and skin peels off so much easier when it's warm. She came here just to burn like this, just to build something that will leave scars, just to build something that you can't get out of.
say that sex is upright dancing. A way out of no way. And this is the beginning and the end of blue. The bed was a blues lyric. Gravel and stank, threaded through with train whistle, the red shred of yesterday's pork wedged in a back motor. It was a broke heart delta reel, the shucking of peas by women rocking on a wraparound porch. It was an old Negro's heart sick room trickling from the nib of an exhausted needle. The bed was not plotted or planned. It was a questionable haven for a tangle, a sudden wall of rain designed to rearrange a bended neck. It was a bulging suitcase two world-hip women had to bounce their hard butt bones on to blow. Cramped full as it was with, I can't take this no more, baby. Stuffed full as it was with, uh, you ain't leaving, are you? Packed full as it was with, and I wonder, could a matchbox hold my clothes? The bed was every damn thing a man says before he screeches, give me my gun. Before he considers the traditionally murderous work of his knuckles and mouth.
striptease. Now, a form of entertainment in which a performer gradually undresses to music in a way intended to be sexually exciting. Derivative, strip tease. Legend has it that in March 2014, in a club called Silverado in Portland, Oregon, the aforementioned live and sinewy Deva took the stage and whooped much ass in a strip tease competition. Close your eyes and imagine for a moment a striptease contest with our queen of the hot territory among the competitors. They say she won it all, took home the trophy, shamed every shimmying sister who dared the stage, and she did it in quite a wondrous way without removing a single stitch of clothing. Suffice it to say that no one who was present will ever forget that night. Some lost the ability to speak. You couldn't possibly hope to understand the psychology of the shoulder, the current that smashes through and names itself muscle. You don't know how long her hips worked on their own blue and bellowing language, how her spine, upon her crisp command, forgot its purpose and became fuel. Once you understand the intricacies of her body, you still won't be anywhere near the understanding of this. This thang, this thang, this lip silver thang, this unflinching mellow, this dusty lust that's as close as organized religion is gonna get to her. She so carefully plotted the ravish, her nights had been nothing but edgy with her. With all the possibilities of ladled sugar, she smooth moved like shards of swine and bacon grease and mason jars underneath the sink. Her mouth relentless on each of their fingers, the dizzying savor of nails blackened with smoke and string. She was mad slow with their indents, their gravel, their collective scar. She bit answers into the shrinking comma of lifeline on their palms. With everything she learned from the west, north, south side of woman, she traced a shake down the raised road of their chest. She was down below down tempo, coaxing their skin raw with Jamaica itch. Threw back her head and laughed while she realized that Crave of her was undoubtedly the first chaos. It was undoubtedly the first chaos. The bothersome bone lodged blues ways in their bellies, like the slow motion slap that tears loose the fingernails of a lover and leaves those drenched fingernails in your hair. The slow waka 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 porn beat, the orgasmic neon, the funk, the funk, and nothing but the funk, the deluge, her body memory doused in red dust. She was recollecting the dark cadence of where she came from, the sun out of its damn mind, the sheen of shot glasses hefted, torched with gold. She was their first guitar the outline of its hips and the slow ride down its body. She threw her head back, half growled, and yeah, that was his cock unfurling. Those were his eyes flapping wide. That's you spilling your drink. Yeah, you are visibly taken aback. Something is leaking from her that could be a church. And her impetuous snarl, that boom coupling is all you can breathe. She's shooting you a look that says, you can keep your hungry motherland. This room is mine. Yeah, that's you, Mr. Ain't No Way. Mr. I paid for some goddamn skin. That's your neck sinking in sweat and your mouth frozen in that. Oh, swearing allegiance to that. That. That shoulder. Her shoulder was witch doctor. Gas tank, vapor. Her shoulder was oak tree, siren, pork rind. It 
in that room with weak beer and crane rattling the walls, her shoulder was damn near something to pray about. But ask anyone now who was there then, and they'll swear that whole city block was, was paved with her burnished skin. They'll say the roof was on fire. They'll swear she was as naked as want, as naked as we came, as buck naked as need. They scream about something raucous slipped in the drinks, some drug that flipped them skyward and upended their dreams. They go stone-eyed and chant what her slither taught them. They say, it's been four months. I am finally in control. That shoulder doesn't speak to me anymore. I am finally in control. It was all that earth they poured into her skin. But what they don't say, what they can't say, she took off everything without taking off anything. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 